Welcome to part two of the Redivis RA87 evaluation. This video will cover more about the repeater side of the setup. When the video starts, it's going to seem like I've been talking for a while, and I'll tell you what, I've videoed a lot of my frustration, and I decided not to share all that frustration with you because I was doing it wrong. Don't get me wrong. I read the directions, but, uh, well, you'll see. Red of us needs a manual rider that was, well, that's from around here. So you'll understand that. Anyway, in my opinion, superior product, but take a look. This thing's really cool. Check it out. Well, I'm back. That was an adventure. It's been a few days since uh, previous parts of this video up until now. But I was getting a little aggravated, and turns out this is the manual that comes with the radio, the Redivus RA87. And the translation, as you might imagine, from Chinese to English is a bumpy road. And I read some things out of context, most likely, but once I read them slower, and took a few things into consideration and a lot of trial and error. <sighs> I got it to work, as you can tell. But what I ended up doing in the end was programming the radios from the front face of the radio, from the manually from the window. And I'll try to run through it here with you real quick. There were few key points here if you have the manual page 12 start on page 12 towards the bottom where it says repeater function and form wow basically here's what you're gonna do you're gonna go to VFO on either side you can do the left or the right side it really doesn't care but you're going to pick your frequency first and Here's the confusing part, and I, I am embarrassed that I messed it that way because I've built repeaters before, and repeaters are programmed in the opposite format that your radio's programmed. So let's say my radio is programmed to receive on 462.700. With a 5 megahertz offset in the positive direction, it transmits on 462.700. Logic would dictate that the repeater is going to do just the reverse. It's going to receive on 467.700 and transmit on 462.700 so that your radio can receive what it's putting out. It is a relay. A repeater is nothing more than an instantaneous retransmission of your transmission onto a, uh, an antenna that's a higher elevation and thus propagating in a much larger area so I wasn't doing that and I wasn't doing that correctly so what I've done I went in and I put in on these radios to get to you're in VFO you're going to hit megahertz to change your first three numbers you can see that well enough and then turn hit megahertz again and then you can turn it to hit your kilohertz and change them and then you're going to go function megahertz, which brings you into the mean, brings you into the radio's menu. And you want to go to four and five to change your transmit, and I'm sorry, three and four to change your receive and transmit PL tone, if any. If you don't want one, don't set one. And then uh, menu five to go in the offset direction, and this it would be the reverse and six, transmit power, depending on what your duplexers can handle. If you're using duplexers, if not, you better have two antennas that are widely spaced and on low power. Otherwise, you're gonna get all kinds of intermod and you won't like that. Then you want the offset direction set. And in this case, it's 5 megahertz. So if whether it's going in a positive direction or a negative direction, it'll be 5 megahertz that it changes it to. Changes it to a 5 megahertz difference of the positive or the negative. And then once your cable 
your data cable is installed in either radio, which have, the radios have to be on once you plug them in. You come to menu 11 to turn the relay on or off. Once you do, once you turn it on or off, hit megahertz again and like low to get out of the menu. You can do any other key except for the megahertz key. And once relay is turned on, if you look right down here in the lower corner, you can't hardly see it here. There is a an infinity icon that I'll put up on the screen, but let's see if I can make this happen. Right there. It'll be on both radios as well once it's in relay relay mode. Redibus RA87 GMRS repeater. WRUT923. Let's turn it up a little bit. WRUT923, testing 123. WRUT923. Now keep in mind we're on a dummy load and an antenna. So dummy load for a receiver. Antenna for a transmitter. WRUT 923. It does take about a second for that squelch to open. There's a little bit of delay in the transfer between the receiver and the transmitter. WRUT 923. There is just a little bit of a delay between the receiver and the transmitter, but if you just give it a second on the PTT, your signal's going through quite clear. And yes, I have a Roger Beep turned on. It helps me judge the time. WRUT 923. WRUT 923. Kicks off right away on this one. WRUT 923. Actually, pretty fast by keying it up with the top pod. WRUT 923. WRUT 923, low volume, low volume. WRUT 923, high volume, high volume. Okay, just so everyone's clear, this is the Redifus RA87. And here on the rear is the data port and the speaker port. And then there's the SO239 for the antenna. This is the data cable, one pin to one pin. I gave you part number four date earlier. It is literally a stereo audio cable, but the cable that connects the two connectors is rigid. It's listed as a 50 ohm, and I guarantee you it's shielded to protect the audio transfer. So you got three conductors, which I'm assuming, and I don't know yet, are ground, PTT, and audio in, and ground, and carrier operated squelch, and audio out. I don't know that that's in the order, but that's all you need really to, for a decent relay on a repeater so there's that and the R the Redivus RA87 nifty neato I'm telling you what this is kind of neat I mean it's a quick and easy repeater uh, I don't think it IDs which you have to do every 10 minutes so you better get on there and speak it WRT 923 repeater W-R-U-T, my mouth's a little dry, W-R-U-T 923 repeater, and just ID every 10 minutes during conversation. Or, if you wanted to, you could set up a portable GMRS Live node 
it's an, basically an all-star node, but it's uh, using GMRS Live servers and network rather than all-stars. One of those can be made out of a mobile radio, Raspberry Pi, sound card interface. Look at any of my other videos and build you an all-star node. I don't know if it works on the Shari Pi Hats yet. I've seen a few ramblings of other things, but if I think it, that GMRS version of software for the radio hat may only work on some of the Chinese versions, but that's still under investigation. I don't have anything on that confirmed. So if you want to build a node uh, out of a small walkie or something like that, if you're going to be out wherever portable, or even if you have this set up at your house or at a tower or something like that, you can use a GMRS Live node separately to ID for it ever so often. I'm going to be doing another video soon about how to use an all-star node. I'm sorry, how to use an all-star node to work with a repeater you have at a remote location that does not have internet. Does that make sense? Long story short, our 70 centimeter repeater in Preston, Oklahoma, the tower site has no internet there. If it does, I don't have access to it. So what I do, I have a dedicated all-star node at the county courthouse where it has internet and it act it transmits and receives directly to the repeater and it i turned all the ids off on the actual repeater itself the cw id doesn't have a voice id that i know of it's a yesu system fusion repeater but it's set for automatic mode switching but this node at the courthouse talks to it and whoever connects to that node number can talk on our repeater I, i'll do a video on that to kind of go into it to detail but Meanwhile, folks, I'm just plum tickled. I give you the Redivus RA87 mobile radio repeater setup. Two Redivus RA87 mobiles and one repeater cable. And that part number is again Redivus LP2304-2203 data cable. And I'll have a diagram schematic up for it attached to this video. So. Need old mosquito stuff. Need a repeater quick and easy? Well, once you learn how to program it, it's not so bad and pretty darn neat. I haven't ran these enough to see if they need to be cooled. Uh, my experience in the past is if you do a lot of talking on homemade repeaters, the transmitters usually, the transmitters usually need a cooling fan. I don't know that this is the case in this instance, but uh, we'll find out in the near future. So test one two test test one two or if you wanted to you could set up a portable GRM I'm still looking for two more people. Don't get me wrong, there are other GMS, GMRS radios. WRUT 923, wide range of audio. Audio. Some people say a man is made out of mud. A poor man's made out of muscle and blood. Muscle and blood and skin and bones. A mind that sweet and a pack that strong. You load 16 tons. What do you get? Probably shouldn't do that. I, uh, I give you the red of us. RA87 mobile repeater setup. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, saying seven threes and wishing all the good signals to be yours. Ham on, y'all.